has to be one of the most amazing places that I've ever been in. Um, Tim, would you like to rap about where we actually are? Right, um, at the moment, right, we're in the back room of the museum. Right. Right. Here, where the Momentosaurus has been dis... I know, has been disassembled <laughs> by the museum administration, right, right, to be packed into these ignominious box. Right. Boxes made out of tiki-taki, all right. just the same, quote, right. unquote. <laughs> <laughs> Um, over here on my left, um, laid out, we have the actual bones of the 90 million year old Momentosaurus. Amazing. Which, um, <laughs> when the neuron is connected with the thigh bone, etc., etc., it's just it's a just colossal just fossil, right? Amazing. I mean, <laughs> I, know, I know. You know, like, I've got this just like an instinct for the extinct, right? I know. Because I used to watch this amazing video recreation, which is now extinct, right. which was about the neo paleontific times and it was eons ahead of the times it was behind it was just like called the Flintstones it was just which was amazing because it had Fred and Wilma and Barney and Betty and they were just used to live like, together and they had this dinosaur called Dino it's wow, just like I just had a really amazing flash wow. um, that Tim has just adverted to um, a really crucial point about dinosaurs, which this museum administration has chosen to ignore, right? right. Um, which is <laughs> dinosaurs and sexuality. Right. <laughs> um, which, like, just to actually imagine, right, um, enormous dinosaurs physically relating with each other. It's just I mean, it's just really, a libido uh, boggling. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, those guys are going to have the benefit of sexual counselling, right? I know, I know. I don't think they use that bit. No, no. <laughs> but, um, a lot of people think wrongly right. um, that dinosaurs became extinct because of intellectual inferiority, oh, yeah. um, oh. but which the reason was emotional insecurity. Security, right. right, like pterodactyls, fear of flying, etc. Et et <laughs> like, already um, emotionally insecure in the sexual arena, right? right. Um, the dinosaur looks up, um, sees the mammals advancing, freaks out, um, and tries to get back into the womb, but which... He didn't have a womb to get back into I, mean, I think there'd be no... It's just as well they went extinct, you know, because if they had lived to see this this modern industrial westernised age, right. which is powered by fossil fuels, right? right? They'd be, be even more emotionally unhinged than I what know, they are now. I you know. know. Wow. I mean, fossil fuels freak I know, me out. I know, I mean. fossil fuels, which, Tim, I don't know if you know, I know. are used to power cars, right. which run over the descendants of the, of the fossils, fossils themselves, right. into Excellent. lizards, birds, etc. I mean, this has all just got to go back to China immediately. Tim, I, mean, I, did... I, I just couldn't agree with you more. Like, I, mean, um, I really demand I mean, did... that this museum um, administration lives up to its to... responsibility right. and make I mean, sure that this dinosaur has the dignity and the emotional security of being returned to its, it's homeland. It's a sacred burial ground in right. China where they ride bicycles, right? Excellent, I mean, excellent. like dinosaurs never used to need bicycles because their right. necks were so long that their heads were already at where they were I going know. to. I know. <laughs> what an excellent experience. I know. Like, I can almost smell the late Jurassic Swamp. Well, I mean, did you wipe your feet on the way in? <laughs> They read it in ancient Hebrew. They read it in ancient Greek. They read it in Latin. They read it in the language of King James. They even read it in modern English. Now you can read it in a Bible.